about um, what grooming is and the key points of how to tell if you're being groomed. We are here to learn more about um, grooming and sexual exploitation. Basically so that we can raise awareness of things like sexual exploitation and abuse that people might not think actually is and hopefully we can take something back to our school. for me. She was older than me, sure, but she had my back. He said at times it felt wrong, like he was being forced to do it. Well, the day so far it's been uh, quite effective, the way they've planned things out. You learn about the risks and how to notice it early on, and to see if people you know has been affected by it. We've heard three stories of people and they have experienced sexual exploitation or grooming. The films and the play were definitely um, worth doing because seeing the play is one thing but actually getting the answers for the questions you want to ask is another thing and I think that's how like, we learn from what we're seeing. Like, we don't just see it, we learn from it as well. We've been shown Maisie's room, but then we've also watched a video about Maisie. Um, and we've been shown different videos of different scenarios where they've been pressurised into doing um, certain things which they necessarily wouldn't do if they weren't being pressured as they were. It shows like different perspectives and you can kind of understand what you should do if you were in such a similar situation. There's so many ways that you can be exploited and that it, even if it's not happening to you, it could still um, affect you, like if it was happening to your friends and stuff. And I think it's really interesting how it can affect so many people's lives when it's only happening to one person. Make a good choice so that you're not another one of these statistics. I thought the play helped us kind of see how it really happens in each step a lot better than it, the film would have. I think the panel at the end of the play was good, asking them questions and them giving a response uh, from the characters. I think that was a good uh, um, way to look at the situation, really. Currently, we're thinking about maybe doing an assembly and incorporating some drama. I think it'd be quite fun and it'd be an original, new way, rather than just doing something plain old and boring. Um, I think something that surprised me was how, how much it affects boys as well as girls, because normally when people think about it, they just think about girls, whereas it also affects boys as well, which is, that really surprised me, how much it does affect boys. You need to stay safe where you are, and like, be careful of who you speak to and who you're with, and mainly stay around your actual friends rather than people that you don't really know a lot, because you don't know what's going to happen. I'd like to find out how, how we could better help people to deal with it as, as friends and as people in our community how we can help more.